Yes, a critical vote is set for today on whether to begin a debate. Okay. So go ahead, go ahead. On a sweet. I mean, he owns this place. All right, come on. Why don't we right. just put mission accomplished up? No. At the RNC, then it's over. Yeah. It is over. How does how does Trump? try and take it back he's silent it's I mean, over he's, he's sort of impotent he at this tweet. point because he can't tweet yeah he can't go out on facebook no. so he, he can't rally the truth with an email from the desk i just love the fact that he prop, it's over he propped up are you gonna be okay to the santas he did it talked he about, did. Talked about the this strong poll that shows ron DeSantis beating trump now they're really in a panic about ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis is not only the greatest governor in America and the greatest governor during this entire COVID crisis that a state could possibly have. I believe Ron DeSantis is um, probably the greatest governor ever in the history of American governors. Taking us through this tragedy, I mean, he, he is as to governors what America's Mayor Giuliani was to America uh, on 9-11. He is a symbol of perfection when it comes to leadership and he's one of these guys that's a perfect guy he was in the house he was a jag lawyer he even played in the little league world series you know ron DeSantis, and he's mr perfect and the left hate him because of this because their guys are all incompetent jerks that are getting people killed like uh whitmer newsom and uh uh, uh cuomo and believe me they've been investigating him trying to find some dirt on Ron DeSantis, and they've come up with nothing. So they've got this this straw poll story. I'm sure you've seen the story. Oh, Ron DeSantis edges out Trump in the latest straw poll. Republicans may want DeSantis and not Trump. And I even saw some jerk on Twitter with a blue check mark. I never heard of him over the weekend say, "Oh, many Republicans are saying well, DeSantis, not Trump. Really, who's that? Never Trumper." So, so how did Ron DeSantis? beat Trump in this straw poll. Well, we have to go to a liberal source. Newsweek. Newsweek. Let me read this story to you. Be a little patient with me because because I want to read this to this this racket, this scam, this con job. Listen to this. This is Newsweek. Ron DeSantis edges out Trump for president in straw poll of Western conservative summit. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Trump's out. The MAGA thing's falling apart. Listen, Repu this is the story in Newsweek. And I did tweet this. If you follow me on Twitter, Brian Craig show on the Twitter. Republican Florida Governor Ron DeSantis won over former President Donald Trump in a straw poll for 2024 presidential candidates conducted by the Western Conservative Summit. The polls organizer reported on Saturday. Okay. Now, the next two paragraphs, listen closely and turn your radios up for this. Yes, if you're watching on YouTube, I did shave. I've stopped shaving a lot because of the mask thing, but now I guess we're, we're in a post-mask America. I got to start shaving again. Okay, now these next two paragraphs are very important about this straw poll. Listen. DeSantis led the poll with 74% of voters saying they approve of him as a presidential candidate, ahead of Trump's 71%. Uh-oh, DeSantis is three points ahead! Uh-oh! Listen, the poll was held online using the approval voting method, where voters selected multiple responses to each question. Now listen to this. You could multiple responses you could pick. Because voters were allowed to make more than one choice, the percentages of the poll add up to more than 100%. Poll conductor Frank Atwood told Colorado Politics that the decision uh, to use the approval voting method minimizes spoilers and sabotage and gives viability and visibility to minor candidates. So, so you could vote multiple times multiple times so what happened so the never trumper republican establishment had their people vote more than once for desantis they're trying to cause division between trump and desantis okay trump 
is our nominee in 2024. DeSantis is our nominee in 2028 and very likely to be Trump's vice president in 24. They can find no dirt on DeSantis. They've been able to get nothing on Trump. Oh yeah, they got investigations. What happened to that tax investigation? They got his taxes six months ago. Nothing, got nothing there. What happened to the grand jury in New York that was going to bring him down? No indictments. You can indict a ham sandwich in a grand jury, but apparently not Trump. That's how clean he is. So what are they doing? They're back to their stereotypes. They're trying to divide. Oh, Trump's a big egomaniac. He's got his name on everything. We get this thing out there. He'll get pissed off at DeSantis. It'll divide them. Believe me, Trump knows what I just shared with you. Probably figured it out before I did. And I figured it out pretty damn quick. Okay? They're trying to divide MAGA. It's a fake straw poll. You could vote multiple times. So they just have some... They only need one jerk. Beep, 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 beep. All of a sudden, DeSantis is the winner. Uh-oh, MAGA's over. What a bunch of low-life scumbags. Low-life scumbags. That's the Newsweek story. I did tweet that. Share it with your friends. Was there any real news over the weekend or was it all fake? Even those online betting things oh, yeah. where you bet for the presidents had DeSantis ahead of Trump, like, uh, which is crazy. So DeSantis now, uh, Michael, uh, I know you've, you've probably heard the same thing I've heard among Washington activists, yep. among Washington money people. Uh, they're already quietly. They don't, they don't want to say publicly because they don't want to... <laughs> Upset the big man. They don't want to get an email. They don't want to get an email or they don't want whatever. Is that what it is now? But okay. every, this town, not just this town, but also the activists, whether they're evangelicals or whether they're money people, um, they're all, they're quietly moving towards putting their money on DeSantis. And no, no, no Republican will say it up here, but we've all heard it. I've heard it from every Republican on the Hill. I've heard it from, you know, every Republican in the Senate, every Republican in the House that I've mm -hmm. talked to. I've heard, from, like... They want him gone. They do. Yeah. They keep. They I, do. You know, I heard it yesterday. Oh, yeah. After they've been saying it for the last four yeah, years uh, that they want him gone. They, they didn't know how to get, get rid, rid of him. And they yeah. thought if they ignored they him, everything would be fine, and they lost everything. Willie, it's so interesting. I talked to somebody uh, yesterday, um, high up in the Southern Baptist Church, uh, who mm -hmm. saw our discussion, and said the miscalculation that preachers made for four years was they could ignore Trump, and it would just go away. And they kept mm. hoping it would just go away. And it never went away. And churches got divided. The convention got divided. And, and you know, now there's QAnon conspiracy theories uh, going around there, craziness going around there. And now they're having to confront it because it wouldn't go away. That's what that's a calculation everybody on the Hill made. But when that guy goes, I forgot who said this a couple of weeks ago, but, you know, if he's on a life raft, like nobody's going to be going after him. They, they'll... This news about DeSantis is the best news that people like Mitch McConnell have heard. Yes. Almost every private conversation I've had to Joe ends up there that they voted for Trump. They would probably vote for him again if he runs in 2024, given the alternatives. But man, they would love for somebody to fill that void that he's left by stepping off the stage. And at this moment, anyway, it looks like it's Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida. Man, uh, it yeah. would be very interesting, Joe, to watch, though, as DeSantis is elevated by the party, whether <laughs> in public ways or private ways how Donald Trump takes that news, because he still yeah. wants everyone to believe that he is the leader of the party, and he is yeah, for the not. moment, that he wants everybody to believe that he's gonna run again in 2024, yeah. at least have that threat out there. But as DeSantis' yeah. name comes up again and again and again among Republicans, it feels like a matter of time before Donald Trump turns on him. Mm. Well, I don't know, but it sure does seem like it's Ron DeSantis' party right now, Mika. All right. Do we have any other news? Yes, a critical vote is set for today on whether to begin a debate. Because so good, good. On a sweet I mean, he owns this place. <laughs> All right, come on. Why don't we right. just put mission accomplished up? No. At the RNC, then it's over. Yeah. Uh, it is and, over. How does how does Trump 
try and take it back, he's silenced. It's I mean, over. He's, he's sort of impotent at this point because he can't tweet. Yeah. He can't go out on Facebook. No. So he, he can't rally the does truth these emails, emails, with an email from the desk god. I just love the fact that he propped, it's over. He propped, Joe, are you propped be okay? up to DeSantis. He did. He talked about, he did. Talked he did. about DeSantis being his running mate right. in 2024. <laughs> and DeSantis may be calling him and saying, would no, you be Nikki my cabinet Haley secretary? Nikki Haley has been hanging out with that. Really? Really? Yeah. 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 Willie, he, 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 he gave DeSantis a okay. start. Enough. Like DeSantis wouldn't be here, but for him and all these people are now saying, oh, it's DeSantis' party. But unfortunately for him, it looks like it's DeSantis' okay. party, right? It's it's starting to look, it's starting to look <laughs> a lot that way, Joe. Here in June of 2021, we'll see we if really, it holds up. We really have to. Shh. Uh, All we, right. we really have to keep it together. We're going to move on to other news But it now. is DeSantis' party. And what else is going on? And, and when I hear them on day one launch with this establishment of a never-Trumper thing, I just think that's disrespectful to, to, to Rush and everything he built. It's like tearing down his house. I, I, I don't think he would. I, Rush stayed on the air when he should have been home to, to support Trump. On, on days that I – and you know how hard it – you and I do shows when we're not feeling well – you know, and, and have things going on. The man was dying, and he went there every day to fight for Trump. And on day one, they come in and do this never-Trumper thing and try to have Team DeSantis and Team Trump. It's, 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 it's in bad taste. It's sick. All right, let's, let's go. You're, you guys, I want to hear your thoughts, okay? I, you're on the radio, caller. What's your name? Yeah, is this me? Sounds like you. Yes. Yeah, hi, Patrick in Colorado. I was, I was listening to, hi, I was listening to that yesterday, and I was disgusted. Rush would have rolled over in his grave, but they, uh, I'm surprised Fox News didn't come out with that. Well, they're, they, you know, yeah, well. And by the way, is this Patrick from the cruise? Okay, well, welcome. Good to talk to you, Patrick. Goes with us on our Steve King cruises. You know, I, I got to tell you, um, I, I am really upset about this. I agree, and and the, what they're trying to do is program us, and that's why I say, uh, how come Fox News didn't come out with this poll first? Well, because they didn't feel comfortable doing it. They didn't feel comfortable doing it, so they got them doing it. You know, Mike, you'll eat it. He'll eat anything. So now, now what they'll do is, is they they can have a story reacting to what happened on the Buck Sexton show. You know, that's how they that's how they do things. The sad reality. The sad reality is Russia's gone, and these efforts, these commercial efforts, and these people behind the scenes, the consultants, there's nobody in radio knows less about programming than radio consultants. But I think the consultant here is Paul Ryan and Mitt Romney. Uh, you're making it too complex. What do you think? Tell you this, I think that show is going to go down like a Led Zeppelin. I won't be. Well, here's the deal, okay? And this is I, I got a big change of heart on this one. There's there's a ratings war going on, like between Letterman and Leno after the Tonight sh after Johnny retired. We have uh, Bongino versus this, and there's going to be a ratings battle because they're on the air competing against each other in multiple markets. So who's going to win? I, I'm I'm on Team Bongino right now. Yes, a critical vote is set for today on whether to begin a debate. Behave so good, good. On a sweet. I mean, he owns this place. All right, come on. Why don't we just right. put mission accomplished up? No, at the RNC, then it's over. Yeah, it is and over. How does how does Trump? try and take it back he's silenced it's I mean, over he's sort of impotent he at this tweet. point because he can't tweet yeah he can't go out on facebook no. so he, he can't rally the does these emails with an email from the desk god i just love the fact that he <laughs> it's over. over he propped up to the santas he did talked about <laughs> talked about the